Hey workout beauties, it's your girl Black Hell Welch. I know Kid Fury says you can't stand when people says that, but I just have to. Alright, now see this is my protective style that I wear throughout the week. I just want to take my ponytail off to show you. Okay, so this is my hair. Still thin, you know, from years of abuse, but I want to show you uh, what I use on my hair and just to show you that my little regimen seems to be doing okay. Um, my hair is moist because I moisturize and seal my ends with this Carefree Curl. You can see I use it to death. I moisturize my hair with this. I just basically put it on, on my new growth because it's so thick like this I go through like this comb it through and then I put it on my ends as well then I take my spectrum unrefined coconut oil and I put a little bit on my edges on my on my ends every other day I take a mixture of melted unrefined coconut oil I melt it in the microwave and I put it in here a little bit of jojoba oil that I got from the um, health food store and then also just castor oil and I mix this up and then I this is how I grease my scalp now with this and I do this like every three days or no every other day I'm sorry I do that I'm doing this now I didn't do it yesterday Okay, and then I massage it in, but this I use on my hair every day. At the end of the maybe week or two, just depending, and if I want to put a rinse on my edges, I have to use a clarifying shampoo in order for the rinse to take. That was the problem before when I put a rinse in. I didn't clarify from using all the products, but now since I have my basic regimen down, that's what I do. So then if I want to put a rinse in, which I could use one right now, but I'm going to wait. I'll just cover it up with mascara like I do sometimes when I pour my hair back. Okay, so then every other day as well. I'm not co-washing every day because it's just intrusive. So I try to co-wash every other day. This is what I'm using now. Hello Hydration. I was trying to go cheap with the swab, but after I used this, after I tried this, it's the bomb.com. So I like this. This is what I co-wash with. I co-wash once a week. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I co-wash every other day using this. This is what I co-wash with. Now my hair was sh it was shedding, not really breaking, but I was just noticing a lot of shedding. So I tried this. This is the olive oil replenishing pack. I got it from Walmart for a dollar twenty nine, I think. Every Wednesday, this is my second Wednesday using this, so I wanted to save it. Today is actually Saturday, the twenty fourth, I think, or the twenty third, March the twenty third, twenty fourth, something like that. But this is what I use and I noticed that my hair doesn't shed as much when I comb it. Um, I comb my hair with a pick which is in my other bathroom but I don't use a fine tooth comb I just comb my hair with a pick and I'll probably show you that in another video. So I've been using this for the past two weeks and this seems to help with the shedding and the breaking. I have on a white shirt today and I did try to fix my hair after I put my shirt on and I don't see a lot of shedding. Now I did get this free because I bought two perm kits, two box perms. Um, it was on sale at Sally's for free so my daughter she used it um, last week and it seemed to work really well on her hair so I'll do a review on this later but I just wanted to show you Sally has, Sally's has a good deal where if you buy two of the olive oil perms that's the kind of perm that I like then you'll get this free so 
so that's basically it that's my little hair care regimen I um I live in a very dry climate in Arizona so and I have dry skin so my hair I just put this on whenever I feel like it since I basically wear it in a ponytail a lot now I don't know if you can tell where this is my old permed hair and then this is the new tech flax hair so this is of course thicker than my other hair but I like this I like the way it feels um, some people may say why are you putting all that stuff in your hair this is what works for me you know I'm trying to see how long my hair can get and I know that I need to keep it moisturized with low manipulation so this is where I am right now um, I said I was gonna wait 16 weeks before priming I don't know if my hair can take it and if I can stand it and if I like walking around with my hair looking puffy so I'll probably go every 12 weeks I'm having some visitors in April so I'll probably I don't know put a perm in before my visitors come just so I can look nice I have to see but I just wanted to show you all my hair is still on my head it has not fallen out and I think we're doing good so my journey continues and I will talk to you ladies later you work out beauties love you thanks for watching my channel and I just wanted to show you what my hair regimen is right now this is what I'm doing and um, love and hugs.